Jesus devises, speaks of vanity, the mirror devises, um, it's the root of, well, one of the problems of the violent crimes in your meter. And that's it, plain and simple. I mean, it may not stop violence, but it will deter it. And we can enforce it. Um, give people time, you know, to buy a new helmet, put six months on it, or whatever time limit to, to get a new helmet. Um, and that's it, really. You know, it should never, it's not really, should be open for debate. It's a problem. We deal with it. So what do you think about dark visors? Should we ban them? Or should... I don't think, well, they should make it like a probably use with the windows and put it to a certain level so where you can still see through it. They tend to advise us because in a way, the dark visors, you, you won't be able to see Whoever's trying to catch you, they won't be able to see. Mm -hmm. And they, they should be able to see whether it's something good or bad, they should be able to see. Mm. You made a valid point that if we fight it, still go on. That's of course provided that forward. people step forward and yeah, give the information problems. because that's another issue in terms of why yeah. I know it's going off on a little tangent a yeah. bit, but that opens up a really big point. Why aren't people, if they do, if the visor situation becomes law and tinted visors are banned, and then someone sees people riding in tinted visors, how likely do you really think it is that people are going to? report this and give more information than they already have given. Because people are very wary of sharing. Well, seeing as, seeing as well, that's why we have to put it. Hmm? Seeing as you notice these things and you know, take yeah. these things off. Well, we have crime stoppers, 1-800 crime stoppers. Yeah. And because crime stoppers is anonymous, right. there's no 
there's no way of finding out who the person is that's reporting. Right. So. It's a, it's a challenge of a community like Bermuda. This is what, what it was saying is that on two fronts, it's a small community. So um, Crime Stoppers as an entity, you know, it's a difficult one to really follow through and be totally anonymous because things generally are going to get out there and could get out there. But that's also why people don't report a lot as well. So I wonder how much <coughs> people actually report to Crime, crime Stoppers and whether they're getting lots of information about these kinds of offenses and stuff like that. Um, and what would encourage people to do it? Would money? Is, is that the main incentive? Would that encourage people to actually report if they saw something suspicious? If you gave them a thousand dollars? It usually is the biggest, it usually is the biggest incentive. <coughs> yeah? How many people here? Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately. yeah. I mean, Unfortunately. you saw somebody go out of A1 uh, one bike screaming, two guys on bikes that go on screaming out of A1, and you recognize something for some reason, maybe the license plate or something, or something about them, right? And and crime always says a thousand dollars if you give information. How many in here would actually give information in relation to that, in relation to what they saw? If it's not anonymous, and they have been brandishing guns, and you saw the gun, mm -hmm. and you saw the gun, you saw the guy put the gun in his pocket and on the bike. How many people here, if they were given a thousand dollars, would actually do for nothing, you know? I'd do it for nothing. Okay. As yeah, long as he didn't yeah. see what you did. Yeah. That's the that's <laughs> yeah. that is the thing. Yeah. So what if he saw you? Damn, his free. <laughs> so if he saw you and somebody else pricked Somebody else called crime stoppers. Yeah, yeah, he didn't know that it was you. He wasn't you. He yeah, didn't know it wasn't well you. Cool. Would you yeah. be nervous? <laughs> so you might as well just call and let him be the one. And that's the problem with Bermuda. And that's exactly what that's exactly what Jackson was asking. Mr. Jackson was asking was how um, is is the problem because we have guys in visors or is the problem because people just don't speak up? Because if people spoke up, more crimes be solved, rather we had visors or none. Yeah. And, we, and they probably would have had, they probably would have had the manners of license by now. If, if had we had a lot of people caught, you mean? Had we had a lot of people caught. Hmm. Right. All right, so how important is people speaking up praying? Pardon me? How important is people speaking up praying? It's, it's Even if it's something suspicious. If you just see anybody riding down your road, if a black visor, would you speak up? Would you talk about it? Would you call the crime stoppers? If they were banned and you saw somebody riding, are you gonna call and say I saw somebody riding with a van with a black visor? Like if it was banned? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if it was banned and you just happened to see somebody riding, are you gonna call and say I saw somebody riding? Or are you gonna be? But they get about taxes. Your police officers get paid five something grand a month. You know, as a cadet coming out, you know, they should get all their asses and do the freaking job. Right. So that's what Max. If the ban, if the ban. And people still ride them, still use them, like you said. Some guys are still going to commit crimes. How often are people going to call and say this guy's got a band visor, a black, a tinted visor? It's not hard to monitor the 22 square mile island, okay? The police is the problem on this island. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times. I'm, I'm saying, saying it's a different topic now. Yeah, like yeah, I'm just saying, I mean, it all ties in together. Yeah, it all ties it's in together. Concept, but like, we are for I don't really basing that, you know? The island security isn't really that secure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, you know? That's all you're really going to know. Yeah. Do you believe that? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the ages can rob a bank, you know? Because those were kids, five for two, five for three. Really? Uh, the mind boggling yeah, that they could go in there 
<laughs> and then just leave. Daytime. In the daytime and not be detected. And the police yes. station is a mile away. Only from a mile. Well, maybe a little bit more. Just Where can you mile. go in Somerset? Where you go? You go Dockyard, you go Ron Spring Benny, or you go the main how many different ways can you go? Okay. Uh, no, yeah. Can't be too public, they gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> 